Hey Siri, send an email. To whom shall I send it? Email to Notion. What's the subject of the email? New YouTube video idea. What would you like your email to say? Send an email to and from Notion. Okay, here's your email message to email to Notion. It says, send an email to and from Notion. Are you ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. Over the last week, I've been experimenting on different API use cases to automate my life and my business. Automation improves the speed and predictability of execution combined with lesser process disruption and less stress. Broadly, I would divide our Notion API world into four categories. If I overlay the time an average person spends in each one of these quadrants, it became quite clear to me that email is a key area I want to go after. So the question starts to arise, what emails can you actually automate? So after I dug around, I listed seven types of use cases that I could automate. As you see, most of them cut across both work as well as life related areas. If you think a little more, what I found was there were two ways that you can automate Notion. Emails that go out from Notion and emails that come into Notion. And that's what we will touch upon in today's video. present a free text way to capture thoughts at incredible speed. To capture my thoughts, I have a separate Hotmail that will work automatically with Notion. Why Hotmail? Gmail prevents personal email access directly into Notion using an API. So the only way around it is to use a two-step process like send it to Google Sheets and then from there into the email, which prevents me from using a free plan from an integrator. So why a separate address? This email address is known only to me and acts as a backup to capture all my thoughts should I wish to retrieve it at any point in time. I set up a shortcut as well with the shortcut app on my iPhone that auto populates the email from where it will be sent and the email to which it will be sent. The integrator I chose for this purpose was automate.io. They have a free plan that allows me to send emails into Notion with 300 messages or 10 thoughts per day. And that's quite nice. You do the same share options for the database and for the API setups inside of Notion. And that enables automate.io to talk to it. So inside of Notion, I set up the created time that automatically populates as soon as the message comes in. A tags select property to define to do ideas and reading. The task name, which is linked back to the subject of the email. And the thought, which is the body of the email. The one thing I want to mention to you is that you can pick up properties from Notion if they were text, date, select, multi-select and checkboxes, but not if they are formatted. Now I set up the main database inside of the ideas area of my GTD system and mirrored the whole same database using the database links inside of to do and reading. As soon as I select the tag, it moves out of the other two areas automatically. I can either drag this task directly into my GTD system to create an idea, a to-do or a reading or translate that into an action manually, however I choose. The reason I chose this two-step process instead of directly populating the GTD system is to make sure that I can capture the task clearly. Note here that attachments will not work since Notion API does not support it as of now. So inside the integrator, I have set up this handshake to go from my Hotmail account to my database inside of Notion. So when I set it up for the first time, I needed to give my credentials both for Hotmail as well as for Notion. These have been set up as a single step process to make the maintenance very easy and to keep the plans free. I felt that before you go alive, it's best to test these a few times to make sure things are working really well. process I'm about to talk about involves a simple drag and drop to send emails to people with automated text. You can set this up without the drag and drop, but I'd like to avoid as many errors as possible in the initial setup process rather than be sorry 
At the end of the day, you could have two issues. You could either have a huge number of incorrect emails that go out before you discover the problem. Or you could just have nothing go out at all in the first place. When you email from Notion, you want the integrator to know that there is a record for it to pick up. The way it looks at it is with the create or an update. Personally, I have found it much more useful to have the update option set up so that you can make changes as you like it. I looked at sending an email from Notion in three steps. The first data mines, the who, the name, the email address becomes really crucial here. If you send emails to the same set of individuals, you could have a Rolodex right on top. The second is the trigger and the action. You could have different databases for different use cases. For example, you could have one for an email for a product A and the other one could be the eBay for a product B, which could be completely different in terms of text. You could also send a birthday wish with one database, whereas you could send a meeting reminder with a completely different one. Let's talk a little bit about the setup inside of the integrator before we go to the third point. The entire advantage comes when the subject of the email and the text is pre-configured inside of your integrator. You can personalize this by adding in the name and a calendar link for the person to choose the time for a Zoom call, for example. You can have custom emails go out with specific text by message and email address with a custom subject. When the person responds to the Calendly link, Calendly will automatically transfer it directly to your calendar of choice. And it can be picked up by another API call by a completely different integrator. You can send multiple records at the same time by refreshing each of them. The third step in the process is to archive the record so that it doesn't remain in the queue and you also know that you have finished the request. While this three-step process is not essential in all use cases, I find it pretty useful, especially when I want to know clearly whether I've sent out the email or not. And these are pretty useful in one-off circumstances. Since these are early days with the Notion API, I have to double check to make sure that the emails have actually gone from my selected email box. And I know that the API is actually working. I just picked a few use cases to demonstrate how you could set up APIs for emails. You could take one of the use cases from the list I highlighted earlier or take a completely new one that suits your workflow. What email workflows would you like to implement inside of your Notion workspace? Comment below. If you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.